Hello friends! Welcome to my channel. My name is Christine and today I'm going to be filming a video about what's in my travel makeup bag and what's in my carry-on suitcase. I am taking a trip to New Jersey this weekend. I am going to be flying. It is all the way across the country and I fit everything in a carry-on suitcase and I am so proud of myself. So proud, in fact, that I am going to be filming this just to show you guys what I am going to be taking along with me, and hopefully you enjoy this video. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the bag that I am going to be taking with me on my trip. And just to give you guys a size comparison here, this is the bag that I normally take with me on vacations and put all my makeup in here. This is a Vera Bradley, I want to say large cosmetic case. And what I really like about this one is that there is a place to put your brushes and as well as your makeup in this larger compartment here. Um, this bag has gone with me on many a trip and I really do like it, but I'm just going to be gone for a weekend, so I tried to downsize and I put everything in this bag. Now this bag is one from Mary Kay, um, in case you guys were curious, and it comes with maybe like a couple of extra bags in here. And what I really like about it is that it has... Um, removable compartments so you can put your items in here and you know you can remove them when you're doing your makeup and just so you don't have to have this entire bag in front of you and then when you're done you just put it back and it velcros in and zips up really nicely so let's go ahead and open this up and I'll take everything out and show you what is in here Okay, so this is everything that I have in my travel makeup bag. Here I have two foundations, and these are the TimeWise Matte Wear Liquid Foundation, and I have it in both the shades Beige 4 and Beige 5. I mix them because I'm somewhere in between these two shades, and so kind of depending on the time of the year, I either use a little bit more of the lighter one or a little bit more of the darker one. And I also have a Mary Kay primer. And this has foundation uh, with sun, or excuse me, it has SPF in it, SPF 15. This is um, a decent primer, actually, not my favorite, but I probably won't be repurchasing this one. I also have this product. It is the under eye corrector. This is a new product. It's a, I don't think my camera's focusing on it. There we go. Um, I actually really like this. It. I used to, here, let me show you this. I use the Benefit of Race Paste. I really like the salmon color that this is. Um, but sometimes, I mean, especially with me getting older, I kind of get, um, or my this settles into my fine lines a lot more. So this is a lot less noticeable. So I really have been enjoying this. I also have my Mary Kay Brow Gel. It's not really anything special. It's just a clear, it's just a clear gel. So works for my purposes. And then I also have um, this Boing concealer from Benefit. Um, right now I haven't really, I'm not really breaking out or anything, but I'm going to take this just for a little bit of extra coverage. All right. And then I also have this Mary Kay brow pencil in the shade Brunette. It's the only brow product that I use. I love it. It's easy, you know, this is actually a brand new one because the other one I was working on panning and so it's like this little itty bitty nub and so I just want to make sure that I have a brand new one to travel with. All right, so I'm probably going a little overboard on the lip products, but you just never know what kind of mood you're going to be in when you travel. So first of all, I have this Mary Kay gloss. It is in the shade Cafe Au Lait. It's beautiful. This is actually my favorite nude gloss from them. So really easy put these down here. And then I'm also taking this Mary Kay lipstick in the shade Whipped Berries. There we go. This is actually one of my favorite berry colors from them. And I'm working on panning this one. And sorry, it looks kind of gross, but you know, I'm using it. So nice berry one. And then there's this one from Bite Beauty. Um, it's in the shade Cafe. What is this? Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon. This was in a holiday set. This is a really beautiful color. Um, nice, nude, you know, kind of pinky toned. And then lastly, for the lipsticks, I'm taking this MAC one in Sweetie. This is actually the only MAC lipstick that I've ever 
had. There we go. It's focusing. It's beautiful. I wore this on my wedding day and I absolutely love the color. It's nice and just really easy to wear. And for lip liners, I'm just taking two. Um, this NYX one in Jewel. Hello. There we go. I really like this color. It goes with a lot of the berry lipsticks that I have. So it's kind of multi-purpose, I guess, in that sense. And then um, this lip liner, it's MAC and it's in Soar. And I also wore this for my wedding day. Love this color. Okay, so for eye things, I'm going to be taking my mascara. This is not my favorite mascara. I mean, it's nice because it doesn't smudge on me, but it... Um, it's easy to take off and so that's why I'm taking it traveling with me just because I don't want to take a whole bunch of cotton pads and makeup remover and stuff like that. So I'm going to be taking that. Then I have a little baby Too Faced shadow insurance. This came in some sort of kit years ago but um, I'm working on panning this right now so that's what I'm taking along with me. Nice and travel sized couple of other eye products, just an eyeliner pencil. I'm taking a brown and a black. I have the black one's in my Naked palette right now, but this one is in Corrupt. It's a beautiful, beautiful brown color, and it glides on so smooth and easy. I love that. And then this is just a Tarte um, Inner Rim Liner. So I know when I travel, it's kind of hard to get a good night good night's sleep, and so the your eyes are kind of red, and this just cancels it out, so I love it. For that, run of the whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Run of the mill eyelash curler looks like a medieval torture device, wouldn't you say? Anyway, this one's from Mary Kay, and it's just you know pretty standard, nothing really special about it. And then I have my naked palette, which I am panning. I am not going to open it up because I am going to save that for my February update, which should be coming soon. I'll also be taking my Naked Basics palette, and this is actually almost brand new. Um, I mean, I bought it years ago, but I've hardly... Hello, there I am. Um, I've hardly I've hardly used it, as you can see, but I'm going to take it along with me. And I guess I should show these. I always take these alcohol sterile prep pads. You never know if you need to sanitize something um, or if you just need to wipe something down, so I like to have these with me. And then the last things that I'm taking... Um, this is a blush bronzer duo, and this came out years ago, but you might recognize this name, the Papa Don't Peach. Too Faced has come out with a um, sweet peach line, and they've relaunched this Papa Don't Peach color. And it also has a bronzer in it, Sun Bunny bronzer, and I'm actually panning both of these, and I have been working on them for quite some time, so... This is what it looks like, but I love these colors. Just, I mean, this duo is really easy to travel with and really easy to work with, and this peach color is actually very, very beautiful. I like it a lot. The bronzer is a little bit too warm for me, but, you know, I'm almost done with it, so I'm going to uh, well, just finish it up. And then the last thing I'm going to be taking is this cargo blush. This is my very favorite cargo blush in the shade Tonga, and I've had this for a while too, but... And I don't know if I'm going to be officially panning this, but I mean, I've hit a sizable amount of pan as it is, um, but this color is beautiful and it's huge. It's what, like nine grams? Yeah, almost nine grams. So that is a ton of product and I've been working on this thing for years, but I love it. So that's also coming with me. I guess that concludes the portion of the makeup bag. Now we're going to move on to the suitcase. This is my carry-on suitcase from the Ricardo brand. I don't remember the name of this pattern. I think it's discontinued, but it's really pretty. I had registered for this for my wedding, and I actually got this one from Amazon.com. They may still have them available. I'm not sure I got this, I think, last summer or sometime, but I've never actually used it because... Whenever I've traveled, I've never been able to be so minimalistic. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so this is everything unpacked. And I'm standing quite a ways back from everything. I have my camera on my tripod and I'll just point to things just to tell you what they are. I'm really impressed that this is all I'm taking across the country with me for four days. So I have two pairs of jeans right here. I have some socks and I have this really awesome North Face jacket. It's like a 
mock down. It's really lightweight, but it's really warm. And next to that, I have my jammies with my adorable fuzzy kitty socks. They make me smile. So I'm going to be taking those with me. In the middle there with this skirt, this is going to be, you can't even tell it's a skirt, <laughs> but this is going to the outfit that this is going to be the outfit that I am going to wear for the baby shower, which is the reason why I'm going to New Jersey. My brother and sister-in-law are having their very first child, and I can't wait to be an auntie. I'm going to spoil that kid rotten. Anyway, next to it is just a dress that um, I'm just taking it. I don't know if we're going to go to a nice dinner or something and I just want to have something different to wear in case we go out. And then I have three sweaters here, one, two, three. And um, even though you can't really see it that well, I didn't even bother taking it out. I have two camisoles stuck in the pouch of the suitcase. Whoops. Okay. And then I'm taking two pairs of shoes, a pair of pumps, and then just a pair of uh, flat sneakers in addition to the sneakers that I will be wearing on the plane. And then I have this really nice um, Fabletics, um, what do you call that? A trip kit? I don't know. It has all my toiletries in it, my toothpaste and my skincare. And I can do a separate video on my skincare if you guys are interested in that. But I forgot to talk about this little yellow thing right here. It's actually a pillowcase. And whenever I go on vacation, I always take something like that with me just to have as a laundry bag. So when clothes get dirty, I can just toss things in there instead of, you know, letting them float around my suitcase. But let us just pack all this up and you can see how nicely it fits. Alright, so that will conclude the packing video. Thanks so much for joining me tonight. I leave really early in the morning, so I better get some shut-eye. I'll talk to you later. Bye!